The Minister of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy, Dr. Bosun Tijani, says the digital economy sector is projected to generate up to 18.3 billion naira by 2026. He said that at a press briefing on the National Digital Economy and E-Governance Bill in Abuja on Tuesday. The minister stated that the bill was long overdue while emphasizing its importance as the backbone of any economy with the capacity to make any nation prosperous if fully harnessed. Chairman of the Senate Committee on ICT and Cybersecurity, Senator Shoaib Salisu, and his House of Representatives counterpart, Honorable Stanley Olajide, said the bill is important as it is the first attempt to put an omnibus legislation to cater for online activities. They say it is a crucial legislation that has the potential to transform the nation's digital economy and position it for sustainable development. Both with the National Commission and the, the executive, sec, I mean the executive uh, uh, commissioner, as we speak, they are even looking for data protection officers that are not enough to even go around, just like auditors go around to determine that organizations are compliant with audit, uh, with, uh, with financial audit. Let us also encourage our youth to position themselves for the opportunity that this bill will create in terms of data protection officers, in terms of cyber security officers, even as the bill has made ample provisions for cyber security because the more automation you have, the higher the threats of uh, uh, cyber sec uh, security, cyber threat. But then you can put, I mean, you can, you can leverage on this. The bill provides for cyber security but we need also cyber experts to, to enforce that. Once we have a good digital identity, electronic voting will be a walk in the park. But we must get digital identity right as a country. All the telcos, all the uh, healthcare sectors, the digital identity will be the kernel. It will sit in the center. Healthcare will tap into it. Uh, transactions will tap into it. Um, education will tap into it. Almost every sector that we are going to digitalize will have digital identity in the center, which will be the kernel. So electronic voting and on anything else, artificial intelligence that we're talking about, requires identity. Because I need to be able to know who my citizens are. If I don't know who they are, there is no way we can digitalize that correctly. Otherwise, there are going to be too many gaps in the systems. Lastly, jobs creation. Some people are scared of artificial intelligence and some of these emerging technologies. I see it. For Nigeria, I see this. The Director General of the National Information Technology Development Agency, NITDA, Kashifu Inua, who was represented by the acting director in the agency, Manuel Edet, says the essence of the bill when passed will serve as an enabler to ensuring the achievement of goals designed for the country under the President Tinubu administration. We're also talking about delivery of government services. How do we manage digital delivery of government services? The ministry has been carrying out a lot of initiatives in the area of capacity building, in the area of digitization, in the area of trying to promote digital literacy. We all know about the 3MTT project that is going on right now. So in all this, when you promote the digital literacy, how do you ensure that government services go all the way to the last spectrum of those that actually require them? What are the rules of engagement? What do you need to do in order to ensure that you receive digital services from the government. How do you manage electronic records, for example? These are the things that the bill will also um, seek to address. The event was organized by the Senate Committee on Information and Communication Technology and Cybersecurity and the House of Representatives Committee to sensitize Nigerians on the importance of digital and, inf and information communication technology for the development and growth of the nation's economy. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.